one. Oh my, how I love the countdown. Good evening, good afternoon, good day, good morning, maybe to some of you. It's Leading Ladies, Leaving Legacies, Living Legacies. I am Joy Ruffin, your style and leadership coach. And tonight, I am your guest, featured guest, and I'm happy always to be with you. I am taking the month of August, a little hiatus, and I'm tweaking a lot of things and changing a lot of things around, all for you and to your benefit. So let me share with you why I chose this title tonight. What's better? Better. Oh, it's a deadly word sometimes. Better or style? That's what we're going to talk about a little bit tonight. And I'm told kind of to stay in one lane, but every now and then I hop over to the other lane. But you'll understand. You'll bear with me. It's always good to be with you because the business that we're all about because of this pandemic has changed quite a bit. So we're going to be talking about and covering a few things that have to do with you and your personal signature style, how you're branding you. Now, there's no question that some people don't give a hoot. There are no rules today. It's almost come to the who cares? Does it matter? What does it matter? Those are not the people I'm looking for, and they're not looking for me. That's okay. Because bottom line, we're searching for eagles, professionals, people who want to rise, soar, and climb to the top, like the eagle, and go above the clouds, soar into the storm, knowing that transformation, change, pivoting here, there, and yonder is just part of life. Those are the people that we look for. And those who know that everything, everything from head to toe, top to bottom, hair to shoes, it matters. It matters if you're in leadership. You are the premier prime example. Do you have to be perfect? No. Ought you to be your best self? Do you choose to be your best self? My prayer is that you do, because that's, and those are the people that we look for. So let's start with the premise of how did I come to this? It's something that I absolutely have always been in love with, not oftentimes understanding why and the, the, the reason for it. And then because of a troubled somewhat upbringing, and yet the opposite of that or aligned with that was a very loving, embraceable, giving relationship, family, community, and all of that. It was a lot of stuff that I had to uncover and get on my path to my greatness, still on that path. The path never ends. The journey is ongoing. All of us, no matter how gifted and how talented and how brilliant you are and whatever zone of genius you're working in, the journey continues. It's ongoing. And you just gather stuff as you go that you use to support you into your greatness. You want a compelling and commanding, confident presence that speaks to who you are. And that's what I'm working towards. And that has to emanate. And it's a process. It has to emanate from your core. The core is the soul, the heart, the essence of you. That heart and head connected. I became aware of this appreciation, love, and this strong sense of aesthetics as a very young preteen girl in the deep, deep, deep South with my aunts and my cousins and my relatives, seeing them get dressed, and most all of them were seamstresses. And then when we returned back North and I was put into a home economics class, that's when I was told. And I felt it because I was rushing every day to get to that home economics class because I loved it. I absolutely was mad for it. I could have been there 24 seven. And the teacher walked over and said to me, Joy, you really ought to be a designer. The short of the story is I didn't turn out to be a designer. I turned out to be a buyer. But one of the leading specialty high end department stores, specialty stores in New York City. And I was the first female black buyer in the city. Oh, what an honor. But you know what, my friends, young, crazy, wonderful, and all of that stuff. That's why I love being around young people today. I had no clue of how monumental and fantastic that was. It's just, it happened, it was. But the short of that story now at this time, I 
have learned over the years, I have witnessed, I have seen my own development of what style is all about. And that's what I want to share with you tonight. If you're a fashionista, blessings. If you're a fashionista with real signature style that fits you, the best of everything always coming your way. That's usually not the case. So my question to you would be, what to you is the difference between fashion and style? And I'm one of those messengers, one of those guides, one of those coaches, one of those consultants, whatever terminology you choose to use, that I love words, but you take the word that fits you best. It's to express, not to impress. So what I want you to be thinking about is the difference between fashion and style, because we as women, most all of us, the majority of us, we come with this appreciation and sometimes for most of us, a love of fashion. It takes many quite a while and some never get it and want it. And those are the ones that I'm seeking because oftentimes it's not a natural, like for me, this technology. <laughs> I love it. I do absolutely love it. And for me, sometimes it's hard not to applaud myself for my learning, because I'm always learning and taking it in. And it doesn't come easy for me. And the same applies for many women with fashion. So many go out and get whatever's trendy, fashionable, whatever's in style, color, print, pattern, whatever it might be, and they get it. Having no concept, none of what truly works for them. As long as it's clean and the grooming and the hygiene and all of that, and they have something that's new and pretty, but yet something is amiss. Something's missing. And the really, and this word smart, intelligent, brilliant, I use it with minimum amount of everything because it's contingent upon too many variables for everyone. And I've come to this learning myself the long, hard way. And that's why I'm saying this. Many want to have that stylish, comfortable, beautiful, compelling appearance, image. And yet when they dress and buy and spend and get ready to attend, whatever it might be, something is amiss and they know it. So then the facade comes through the, the, the dismissiveness about fashion and clothes and style. Doesn't matter, I don't care. It's because they can't put it together. And I get that. Why do I get that? Because I was one of those. Coming from the deep, 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 deep South and having a love, and most of the women were seamstresses, and that's why home economics, I guess, was so endearing to me initially in the beginning. And then I found out that I could trape like a banshee. I couldn't draw worth a nickel. That's why I didn't become a designer. <laughs> that's my excuse anyway. And actually, it was meant to be. Because I had this eye. I know when things are right and when it's in alignment. And when it's compelling and it's a look that's commanding, that says, whoa, and don't you love it when you see someone like that? And those who are not comfortable might stand back and say, eh, but they want that too. And they need that, but they don't know how to go about it. And that's why I'm here. Because I'm not working as a signature style specialist just for the title, because that goes beyond an image consultant. And I have nothing against image consultants. I started out initially that way. And then I discovered there was so much more to it than that. And those who are good at it as image consultants, they're good. And my initial concept and my premise ultimately is to work with some of them because I intend to be international and global here, there, and yonder. So it's not putting down. It's just that it's so much more than just going out and purchasing clothes for you and aligning up the right colors and the right patterns and the right styles. You need to know and understand it somewhat. It's like one of my beautiful friends and, and, and somewhat, I'll just leave it at this, said to me, you know what? It's time that you stop saying, continue to say that you love technology, but not that you, that you don't get it, 
say that you're still in the process of learning because that's what you are and that's what we always are. And so that's what I'm attempting to do. There's so much that I don't get, but I love it. So I am always in the process of learning and eager to because I love it. Just like many of you love fashion and just don't know what to do. And then you have the facade and you have this persona that it's okay. And yet you have that feeling, that nagging, uncomfortable feeling that over there, and there's no comparing because when you do the comparing, you've already lost the game. There's no comparing. As one someone said the other day, you can mirror, you can model, you can mirror, and you can master whatever it is for you. But don't compare. If you see something there that you like and you want to have more of it, then find ways that you can make it more you. Because whatever is over there is not you. And that's what I'm not only not only attempting, that's what I'm sharing. That's what I'm giving to the women, the professionals, the eagles the ones who are wise and full of wisdom that I'm working with. So what I want to say, and I didn't say it in the beginning, you know that you're always welcome here. And even though I forget to put that up because I start to talk and I get excited talking with you, but I want you to know that there's a vast difference between fashion and style. Fashion you need because fashion is clothes. We all wear clothes, but what you need to do, I have what I've designed with a friend. It's called a joy code. And that joy code comprises three keys elements that you cannot have a signature style that's indigenous to you that's all yours whether it's your signature your personal your branding whatever verbiage you want to give it until you get these components in place for you and it's a process it's not going to happen overnight how many of you know of something that happened overnight and here's a prime example that i want to leave with you because i love to laugh and this to, this to me is funny so what i want to say is this I have a, no names, but a friend who wait, some time ago hired a image consultant and the image consultant went out and purchased everything and lined it up as it ought to be worn. If she chose to wear it that way, this was the best way to wear it. And what she didn't say was the only way. So everything was lined up and everything was ready, but you know how most of us are, right women? Not many are as structured and, and exacting and on point as we want to be, but we're always in striving to be. We choose to be and we work towards that end. So what happened is that after a while, putting things together, that way of doing it was misplaced and lost. So all of these different items and accessories would be worn and they didn't blend, they didn't go together. The look was totally amiss. And she, after a while, not initially, recognized this. And when she came to me, she said, I don't know what happened. It was all so well put together and I so enjoyed wearing it. And this was a dear friend that was away, far away from me, that I just didn't know how to align and put it together. And I guess I mixed things up. And I said, that's exactly what happened and that's why I no longer want to work. Not that there's anything wrong with what she did, the image consultant. But until you give the person that you're working with the tools, that's what we all need. That's what I needed. I came bouncing up from the deep, deep, deep south and these beautiful tribal people that I loved and who embraced us and gave us all of this love and attention and so on. I fell in love with clothes and fashion and garments and fabrics. And so then I attended the Fashion Institute of Technology and I'm a Wow, I'm having fun there, and it's great. And finally, I was invited. If you've heard this story, you'll hear it again and again because it's one of my favorites. And, and there's so much more to it that I share in workshops that I do. I went out, this instructor invited me to this fabulous formal dinner, awards dinner. And I was so excited. Oh my God, I was so excited. So I did what I was taught more or less to do. I went out and I bought everything new, everything, head to toe, top to bottom, hair to shoes. I did everything new. And I thought when I twirled in that three-way mirror that I was looking good. That's what I thought. I didn't know. It was just my first year in school. I hadn't learned a lot of stuff yet. So I get there on the 18th floor, these big double doors open. And as soon as the doors open and I looked in, I felt like a country bumpkin and there's nothing wrong with a country bumpkin, excepting when you're attending a semi kind of formal dinner 
and you're dressed in what you know and you just feel is wrong. <gasps> and the instructor walked over and she put her hands on my shoulder. She says, okay, Joy, come in, sit, enjoy, relax, learn, take everything in and we'll discuss it. But here's the moral of the story for me after all of these years have passed, my friends. What about those who bounce in and don't know? As one of my dear friends said to me, well, Joy, those aren't your customers. Those aren't your clients. Those aren't going to become your friends because they don't know, they don't care. And the don't, I don't care is not really fitting, but that's what they go with. So that's what you have to abide by. You look for those who want more, desire more, crave more so that you can offer them the tools that they need. So then to get back to taste, what is taste? When everything is in alignment and kind of blends and it's pleasing aesthetically to the eye, when you look and you say, wow, that's really neat. Back to the joy code, it, comprise, it is comprised of three different elements, keys, I call them. It's all about balance, it's all about harmony, and it's all about grace. And each of those three has three compartments that I talk a lot about in our workshops. Because until you really get it, you really want to understand what a signature, your signature style is all about and how you brand you. So we have excellent taste, right? That's when you look over and you see, oh, wow. And you say, boy, she really looks great. Then we have good taste. We have what's designed as poor taste. Then we have bad taste. And as one of my friends gave me, I hadn't added this in, and I had to add it in because you don't know, but you're going to learn. I love to laugh. Laughter is good for the soul. She said, what about those who just have no taste? And I said, yeah, there are those. There's a difference between bad and no taste. You know, as an example, I'm not going to go through all of these for now, but I also want to share with you that I'm having an event that's coming up. And that's what I wanted to share with you before I get carried, you know, I get carried away. I get so excited with all this stuff. I wanted to share with you the event. By the way, if you are not a member of my group, Leading Ladies, Leaving Legacies, my invitation is open and extended right out to you because this is a fabulous group. It started off minuscule and now it's growing and it's expanding and I want it to grow more. And what I'm going to be doing is offering starting in, 22. Can you believe it? Every third Thursday of the month, we're going to have a featured guest who's going to come in and talk to you about whatever their passion is and share with you their excitement, their passion, and all the love that they have for what they're doing so that they can inspire, motivate, and enlighten you. And they're going to get 15 to 20 minutes to do this. And you're going to invite your friends because it's going to be open. But that's another, but that'll be being promoted constantly as we move forward. But for now, what I want you to do is I want you to remember this, because this is where Thursday, August the 19th, I can hardly believe it's August already. It's kind of coming, boom, but it's here. And August the 19th is my master class where I'm going to be talking more in depth about a lot of this. There is an event that's on my Facebook business page that you can go and register. I'm also going to ask you that's for August the 19th. And let me just pull this up here. So this is the link. You can take a snapshot or you'll find it on my Facebook business page in the event. And I want you to go and register because it's really going to be awesome. Even if you love fashion and you have all the tools, you have all the nuggets and you know everything. Knowing everything is dangerous. Would you, would you accept that? Would you believe that? Knowing and always being on top of what you know and continuing to learn with what you know is where most of us who are in leadership want to be. Because I have to tell you, I learn from you all the time. And one of the reasons I'm on hiatus here now is because I've been doing these interviews twice a week. And I found that there's more that's needed. Whether or not one is aware is going to be part of my assignment to let you know that we can get a much more professional, profound insight for you to how you want to deliver your message out. And I'm going to showcase for you many ways that you can do that. 
So I want you to make sure that you aligned at the master class and all the other things that are coming about that you're going to be, as long as you're in the group leading ladies, leading legacies, you'll be aware of all of this. But for now, when we go back to the joy code and predominantly, by the way, put in the comment style, S-T-Y-L-E, and you'll be delivered your complimentary booklet, especially if you're here for the replay, because that way you'll be able to get a booklet which gives you information about the beginning, only the beginning steps, but it's major about style and what happens there. Let me give you the separation between bad taste and bored taste. This is my concept. And I love it when you share with me what yours might be. When we're talking about poor taste, you've seen it, we've all seen it. Maybe you didn't know, but you'll know when I share this with you. You've seen that lady who's all dressed, head to toe everything, and that one something is just knocking the whole look away because somehow your eye is kind of leaning more towards that one whatever it might be. It could be the shoes, it could be the handbag, it could be the hairstyle, it could be the makeup, it could be the accessories. Those five mainly, but something in that garment, that outfit, that's been pulled together, it's just taking away, it's diminishing the value of what it was or what it ought to be. <gasps> now, bad taste. Bad taste is different from poor. Bad taste is when everything more or less, the key here is more or less, that that individual is wearing and has on, it's quite pretty and attractive. It's, it's good, nice, exceptional for what it is. It doesn't fit the person and it's too much of everything that doesn't go together. That's just poor taste and bad taste. But what no taste is, is when it's just all wrong. Nothing fits, nothing's there. You've seen it. And sometimes you might see that facade of, it's all okay and it's all all right, it's me. You know, this expression, just be you. It's all you, it's okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I love it when I hear that. I'm just being me. Well, just being you is all that's required. But what is being you? Who are you? How do you show up? And if you really care about you, when you go out to meet and to network, how do you model and mirror who you are and master the best of you so that it showcases to others? And that expression, I don't care, I used to use that a lot too. But the truth is you do care. You might not care as much. And you might put that I don't care way on the back burner because you realize, contingent upon what it is, that it's not so major. But the truth is you do care because if you didn't care, you would have no need for words. There would be no need for expression. So that expression, I don't care.
running around in the maze with everybody else. Because if you're in leadership, it's time to step up and step out and claim your territory. Be your best self. And that means showing up and answering to all that's the best within you and sharing with others. I say over and over and over, it is about being your best self. Yet, it's also about sharing and bottom line business. But you wanna make sure that the value and the benefits that you're offering are going to be of value to the people that you serve, because that's what it's all about, one way or the other. So I'm just putting up the group again so that you can connect and join, and I'll hide it. Once I learn how to operate this, I'll be a pro at this. But what I want, and I've been doing this long enough that I should know, but I get concentrated on my talking and I forget to run the dials. I really need a, I really need a director. <laughs> But that said, let me just say also on my website, which I'm tweaking, go there because I'm always interested in meeting and connecting with people who are interested in rising, soaring, climbing to the best that's in within them. And let me say this, I say this, everyone who's in leadership, no matter what level or stage you're at, has a coach, a consultant, a specialist, an influencer, whatever name you want to give. Because you, we, all of us, we need someone that will tell us, you know, I think maybe, boom, 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 consider, look to this, look to that, because sometimes we're blinded. I am from time to time. So it's good to have someone there who is going to be honest with you and share with you what you need to hear. I hope you'll share out this video because the point is collaboration and sharing is everything. And when we get back to style and how you style yourself, there are five major categories that you can fit into and you have to know which one you are in. And when we do workshops, I just want to leave you more or less with this to be thinking about. A lot of people think they know and they find out that they don't know as much as they think they know as I found out the hard way. And it's good if you have that inkling, it's something gnawing inside that says, I didn't get this right, something is amiss. You have to know. And somebody said to me once, nobody gives a hoot about their body shape, they don't care about their body shape. Well, that's a no-no because that's the premise and the beginning of developing your style. And then we go into what are the best fashion styles, your fashion preferences, what are the best ones for you? And then we go, color is major. My big Faux pas was when I went to that, I, I love red, love, love, love of red. It happens to be one of my five favorite colors. But I bought Christmas tree red, Santa Claus red, which is the worst red for me. I didn't know it. When I looked in that mirror, all I could see was red. I couldn't see me. I just saw the pretty red dress. <laughs> and that happens to all of us. We make mistakes. We make boo-boos. It happens. And that's okay. One of the things that I want to say is color is major. And then next the category that's almost a miss now that I really want all of you to start thinking about, I don't care if you go to the gym every day now or you work out at home every day. Shapewear, it's no longer, they call it, you know, back in the day it had another name, but now it's shapewear. And that shapewear can be light and airy and breathable and most of us need it contingent upon what we're wearing. And especially now with the two body parts, the two Bs being showcased, we're not going to go there, but shapewear and fabrics, and I align them together, they're crucial. And I want you to start thinking about them. And then the last one would be your accessories, head to toe, everything, top to bottom, hair to shoe, and how you align them with your body shape, personality, lifestyle, and all of that. And you have to know that. You have to learn that. Hi, Adair and Samantha, good to see you here. I want to make sure that when you attend this event masterclass that you get all the tools that you need and if you're really really savvy one of my favorite words of late you will want to attend the master class because you're going to get a lot of tips and tools that you can use and if you're really serious which i know that you are you're going to want to go further it's like me with this technology i'm learning every day all the time 
loving it, applauding myself because my friend said to me, stop saying boom, boom and say I'm learning. So I am learning and loving it. I just learned something new today that blew me away. I said, whoops, I can do it. So learning is fun. Don't ever give up on learning because that's the process of life. And let me just say the time flies here and it goes quicker than I can say. What's better, fashion or style? I hope I left you with style, your style. And your style can be developed in whatever realm is in there, five different preferences. And whether you're casual, sporty, one and the same, the most popular, but not the most popular worldwide, it's still classic. But you don't have to be classic. You can be dramatic. And a good signature stylist, which is what I am, will showcase and help you, support you, guide you to discovering your style. It's not about me. It's about you. And the best Anybody, if, if whatever they're doing, are able to align you with what's best for you, not for them, not for me. I know what works for me. Somebody else might think it's something different, but I know what I feel good in, and that's what I want for you. So I can't wait to see you. Well, I'll see you before the 19th. But until then, I'm saying this. Be well. Stay safe. If you still have to wear the mask, wear the mask. And know that I'll be again with you soon, very, very soon. And I'm doing Facebook Lives now so as I promote the event that's coming up and other things. So look for me everywhere and join me. I love company, good company. Sometimes something that annoys me, it helps me to grow. So that's good too. Be and stay well. I'm sending your way always the very, very best. Stay well and be safe. So long for now. Cheers.